Hey, this is Thomas. The past few weeks in English class, we have been working on Globe Theater models. The Globe Theater was an old theater where Shakespeare used to house all of his shows. And one of the books that we read was The Tempest. Our teacher, Ms. Brown, told us to come up with a theme for a part in the book, and we were separated into groups. So we created our Globe Theater models with a certain scene from the show that dictates that theme. Come take a look. Um, so for our um, Globe Theater, we uh, chose to pick scene two uh, and act two of The Tempest. In this scene, uh, Trinculo and Stefano have a little bit of a back and forth of confusion, which uh, Shakespeare deliberately uses to create a sense of comedy and a sense of uh, a, tra a traumatic and tragic experience. Uh, we chose this scene because we really feel that this is uh, significant and uh, really highlights um, Shakespeare's work and his uh, themes throughout his works in the Elizabethan time. Hi. So we took a very like whimsical approach to it. Uh, we wanted to have fun with it. Um, as you can see, we have little characters here who are like puffballs. Our main theme is that absolute power uh, corrupts absolutely, and we use the scene where the courtiers are plotting to assassinate Gonzalo and Sebastian. So we did the final scene from the final act of The Tempest. Uh, our theme was forgiveness, so it's the scene where Prospero forgives Antonio. So here we have uh, Prospero forgiving Antonio. Uh, in the audience, we have all sorts of people. The more wealthy, of course, would be in the more vibrant colors, and they would be sitting higher up. Then along the outside, we have trees and the little buttresses that would, uh, they would be sitting along the outside. Only the uh, royals could wear purple, as it was a sign of uh, prestige and honor, followed by red. Only uh, rich people and people right below the royals could wear red.